I've been a fan of the comic for 10 years and I think it's a beautiful story. There's incredible characters. The worlds are so interesting. And Brian K. Vaughn and Pia Guerra, who created it, are, uh, I'm a huge fan of both of them and in both in this comic, but in their, in their work separately. Um, and they were very generous to sort of say like, we wrote this 20 years ago, please, you know, do your thing. Um, for me, the most important thing was reflecting the diversity of gender that is the sort of reality and truth of the world we live in. Um, I thought it was really important to make clear early and often that Yorick is not actually the last man, that there are plenty of men who survived. Um, he's special because he is the last person with a Y chromosome. And, um, and that chromosomes and gender are separate. Uh, so, you know, that's something that we're discussing in the show through character. Um, I think it just adds to the richness of the landscape and the world that we're working in. Uh, and yeah, I mean, but, but the, the book is great and I love it. And we're just like sort of taking it into uh, 2021. There are uh, another few men in the cast as well. Um, and, you know, York is the last cisgender man in the world, but there's a, a great number of men that still remain um, after this event takes place. And there was a great number of men who populated the cast as well alongside myself. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, a, as far as just the team of individuals that we were working with, it was just one of the most freaking inspiring, creative dedicated group of individuals I've ever worked with. So irrespective of gender, I, I, I think that's the best way I can answer that. Yeah. Who are you? Yorick. You're reproductively interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh...